Okay, we're gonna um, do a couple of impossible integrals here. So, um, let's see. So the first problem is this, given that um, capital F of X is an antiderivative of lowercase f of X, find um, capital F of five, given that lowercase f of X equals sine of X cubed and capital F of two equals three. So we mentioned in class, I mean, that notation is kind of annoying, especially to read it. Um, but anyway, I need to uh, figure this out. So what I'm gonna do is first just use the uh, fundamental theorem. So here's the problem again. Uh, fundamental theorem tells me that the integral from two to five of um, lowercase f of x is capital F of five minus capital F of two. Now I'm looking for um, capital F of five, so I rearrange. Um, and I would do all this on paper before even picking up a calculator. I rearrange it, I get it like that. Um, now it's a purely calculator thing. So go to your calculator. First thing you do is define f of x. So f of x set equal to, and then it's the sine of x cubed. Um, and then what we're doing is we're gonna do the integral from, uh, we're gonna do f of two, which is three. So three plus the integral from two to five. So three plus the integral from two to five of f of x. And remember, once you define a function, it's in the var key. So var f of x dx. Do that. It gives me the answer. And, and that's my answer. So actually not a lot of change. Uh, the reason this is called uh, FTC to the right is because we're moving to the right. We're moving to, from 2 to 5. We're seeing the total change there. What's the net change from 2 to 5? And we're adding it to where it was at 2. Um, so the next type of question is um, moving to the left. So same basic situation, except now we want to know f of 0.5, capital F of 0.5, um, given that um, its derivative, f's derivative is f, um, which is e to the negative x squared, and we know f of 1 is 2. So again, we do a lot of stuff on paper first, write it all out, start with the fundamental theorem, we rearrange it. So now all I'm doing is capital F of 1 minus the integral from 0 to 1 of f of x. So that's going to be uh, 2 and then minus, well let me do this, I'm gonna doc for 1, I'm going to define this, f of x is, and then it's uh, e to the negative x squared, and let me go back and see what I was supposed to know, um, 2 and then minus the integral from 0.5 to 1. And so 2 minus the integral from 0.5 to 1 of f of x uh, dx, and I get that. So the reason this is called uh, FTC to the left is that um, we know where it is at the right end point. We actually know where it is at 1, but we want to know where it is at the left end point. So what we do is we take its uh, y value at the left end point and we subtract the net change from 0.5 to 1 and it takes us back to the left end point. So we're moving to the left in that case. Um, and then I have one final problem that I thought we should look at, which is, uh, you know, sometimes these problems are given. They're, they're kind of a joke, but given that uh, an antiderivative is this and we want to know the integral of its derivative from 1 to 4, well, um, fundamental theorem tells us that that's just uh, capital F of 4 minus capital F of 1, so uh, we don't even need a calculator. So uh, 4 squared, 16 minus 2 is 14 minus, uh, 1 squared is 1 minus 1, so it's 14 minus negative 1, uh, which is 15. So that's, that's the basic fundamental theorem. But anyway, that's how you do um, what you might call an impossible integral. Uh, a feature of each of these, by the way, uh, of this this has no simple antiderivative. We wouldn't be able to find it. So our only option is to uh, use a calculator at this point. And the same was true here. Has no simple antiderivative. Um, you know, later on in calculus, you'll get into series and, and you'll be able to approximate these integrals using uh, power series. But uh, for now, this was our only option. So I hope this is uh, sort of helpful and uh, good luck.